Cookie Enzer here. Do something a little different today. Going to do a Hidden Fates versus Champion's Path collection box. I was actually able to pick up both of these recently at Walmart, surprisingly. They started stocking Hidden Fates again, which is really awesome. I haven't seen them in a couple months, but I've been doing these Hatterene boxes, and I have not had very much luck from them, but we're going to give it a shot here today. Let's see if we can pull that Charizard. I'm about 100 packs in right now, Champion's Path, and I have only pulled the Gold Food Tin. has been my best pull. So, I'd say I'm definitely due, but let's see what happens. The shiny Charizard that I have in the, the background there was, um, I actually bought that off somebody. I posted it up on Facebook Marketplace. I said, I said to myself, I was done buying Champion's Path, but I ended up buying some more Champion's Path. <laughs> so, we'll see what happens. We're going to do a little, little pack battle between Hidden Fates and Champion's Path. Get you guys the codes out here. So I probably will sleeve up the Charizard promo. The Hatterene one's not really, really no value on that guy at all. But people have been great in the promos and actually getting a good bit of money for them just because it's a Charizard. Anything with the Charizard is gold for the most part. This one has a little heavy centering on the bottom. That's not too bad of a card. So we'll sleeve it up. Oop. All right, I got some codes for you. I guess that'll get you a Charizard online. Oop. And Champion's Path, Hattering. These are the two jumbo cards. Starting to run out of things to do with these. I'm just kind of putting them in a book to keep them flat for now. But all right, so we have. Do we actually get one of each? We have the birds. You two? Nope, another the birds. And our shiny boy Charizard, which I haven't pulled this yet either. That's a Japanese one that I actually purchased on on uh, eBay. It's about half the price as the English one. All right, so let's start with Champion's Path. This set's really hit or miss. There's two really good cards in here. The two Charizards. And there's some other cool cards, but... Not quite like Hidden Fates, where you have the Shiny Vault. There's a ton of cool cards in there. Like one, two, three, four. So guys, if you like these types of videos, please hit that like button and subscribe. At PokeYenzer. Also on Fa or, uh, Instagram, at PokeYenzer. I'll follow you follow me, I'll follow you back. Alright, Scraggy. Open for that, either the shiny or the rainbow rare. And that's a problem. This is what you get about 80% of the time. You just get one of the, there's 10 holographics in the set. And that's what you always get for the most part. All right, so one busted pack of Champion's Path. Let's see if we can get some something going with Hidden Fates, guys. Just get a full art shiny or at least a baby shiny. Hidden Fates, code. Okay, we have our Psychic Energy. Jinx, Graveler, Farfetch'd. So these ones, that hits are in the, the Reverse Hollow slot. There we go. First pack magic for Hidden Fates. Faramosa, Shiny. It's a baby Shiny, followed by a non hollow Weezing. Awesome. Always take a shiny, no matter what. All right. So, so far, Hidden Fates 1, Champion's Path 0.
go into our next pack of Champions Path. I'm trying this new camera setup, guys, so bear with me. Champions Path code. All right. Psychic Energy, Crate Ball, B Drill, Scraggy, Lanoon, Weedle, Ekans, Machoke, and a Professor's Research. Oh, for two. And that's why I told myself I was done buying Champions Path. These are sitting on the Walmart shelves actually for a couple days. Nobody, nobody else even wanted them. So this is our second pack of Hidden Fates. Here's your online code. One, two, three, four. All right, let's see what we can pull here. All right, we have a Dark Energy, Tenet Surge of Strategy, Misty's Termination, Pokemon Center Lady, Voltorb, Pikachu, Jiggly, Pickets. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, guys. Man, I love Hidden Fates. Mewtwo, full art, shiny GX. Oh, yes. This is one of the top four cards to get in this set, I believe. Number one being the shiny Charizard. Number two being an Umbreon. And then I think Sylveon. Another Evolution. And then uh, our Mewtwo. Very nice. That that will make up if we don't hit anything in the champions. The champions fell backs. That is what I'm talking about, guys. Hidden fate so far. Two packs. Two packs and two hits. Beautiful. I actually purchased purchased this card on eBay a while ago for like forty bucks, and it is off at Beckett, getting graded because I think I have a chance to get a. At least a 10, possibly a black label, but not really sure. I've never graded cards before. But this one looks pretty good. It looks like it's a little, the cut's a little crooked on the top. I'm not really sure how they grade on that. What a beautiful card, guys. That's what I'm talking about. Hidden Fates is such a great set. Anytime I see Hidden Fates, I buy it. It's so hard to get it in MSRP. But when you can find it, I buy it. Because I love this set. It's so great. Not so much this set. But I want to keep going with Champion's Path until I can pull one of these Charizards. But the Charizards keep going down in price and... These packs just seem like they keep getting more expensive. Well, let's at least get something. I'm trying to think what else I need. I still need a Lucario V. Somehow I've opened 100 packs and haven't pulled a Lucario V yet. Or a Corsola V. I haven't pulled that yet. And El Cream A V Max. So I wouldn't mind any of those hits. But this is just what you keep getting. Just junk. I have probably 15 to 20 of each of those hollows. They're just brutal. All right. I don't know how much more I can ask from Hidden Fates, but... You just never know. I've had boxes that had three out of four packs with hits. I've, I think I had a box that had all four. So, who knows? Magmar. Far-fetched. Brock's Pewter City. Jigglypuff, Eevee, Caterpie, Paris, Ekans, Reverse Hollow, Dark Energy. That's okay. I'd rather have that than a regular Reverse Hollow. And a Snorlax. So we haven't hit anything from the the regular vault yet. Or from the regular, the regular collection. The best you can get from the regular cards is the, uh, the Charizard GX. Which is a pretty solid hit. Alright, last pack of Champion's Path. Thinking I should have left this box on the shelves. I, I wish I would at least guarantee like one V card per box. 
but it just seems like you just keep getting these hollows back and over and over again. That's all you get. Yep, yep, once again. Four packs of hot garbage for Champion's Path, guys. Man, I hate that set. I think the only way it can open is when I open Hidden Fates at the same time. It just it drives me crazy. Champion's Path is so bad. All right. That's probably the fifth or sixth time that I've opened a box of Champion's Path and got absolutely nothing but all holographics that are just hot garbage. One, two, three, four. Champion's Path, by far the worst set Pokemon's come out with in a long time. It's just complete trash. All right, Fire Energy, Charmeleon, Chansey, Giovanni's Exile, Geodude, Pikachu, Clefairy, Cubone, Jiggly. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Three out of four. I actually need this one for my master set. It's only, you know, maybe a $10 card. But I need that for my book. So that's, that is awesome. So, yeah, guys, I don't even think we have to debate. Hidden Fates, I got two full arts, one being a trainer. Uh, one, a baby shiny, and also a reverse hollow energy. And um, Champion's Path got absolutely nothing. Nothing at all. All right, so thanks for watching, guys. Said so please like, review, and subscribe. So if you like these kind of videos, I post four to five per week. You'll have a great night and have a good Thanksgiving, depending whenever you're watching this. All right, and I'm spending the pokey I am out.